Hey everyone, talking about Turquatic by MAC. I actually didn't really know anything about their fragrance, just that I've heard of them as like a makeup company or whatever, but I saw somebody mention this and I was curious about it based on the description and wow, the bottle is really stunning too. Um, I'll link in the description where you can get a bottle uh, if you wanna just even click the link to see the picture of the bottle, but the notes in this are Anemone, I guess that's a fantasy accord probably for C Anemone, Lotus, Oris, and Corsican Blue Cedar. I think this is a fantastic take on a light, fresh, clean scent because it like meets that need perfectly, but it isn't boring like a lot of the other ones of that kind of vibe can be. Really kind of dewy style aquatic, like not marine aquatic. The word aquatic can mean really different things because like the marine kind of so like salty, like seaweedy and stuff like that. But this kind is more just like, yeah, like fresh lotus and like clean water. Yeah, like. I think that, you know, it smells very clean and fresh in an effortless way and something that I believe that most people around you would likely think smells really good too. Uh, not that it has high, you know, longevity and projection, but for anybody who could smell it, I think this would be pretty mass appealing. But yeah, not boring or anything. Definitely nowhere near a dupe of this, but I did see a few people make comparisons to Skylar Pink Canyon, and I could sort of see that. That gives me the same type of vibe as this. I think this is actually pretty easily unisex. It might be marketed as feminine, I'm not sure, but very much a unisex type of scent. And yeah, I remember hearing about this because uh, a musician that I recently got into, Trixie Mattel, was talking about fragrance or something and recommended this as, yeah, kind of something that uh, when doing drag, if she's in drag or whatever, then she can wear this and it smells feminine or whatever, but that it doesn't smell feminine uh, when Brian Furcus is out of drag. So I think that says, you know, if somebody feels like they can pull it off in a situation where they're more feminine presenting and more masculine and nobody's batting an eye either way, I think that's a pretty good definition of a unisex scent. Um, $67 for a 50 mil. Yeah, I think that's a really, really good deal for this actually. Granted, yeah, it's a light, fresh, clean scent, so those shouldn't be expensive, but with the quality here, with the uniqueness, with the stunning bottle, Nice, yeah, very good. Um, I will link in the description where you can get a bottle, as mentioned, for samples. I think I got mine from a decant seller on Etsy, so I would maybe start by checking there. I, don't, I haven't seen this on any sample decant sites, but otherwise you could maybe keep an eye out on eBay and Mercari and uh, places like that. But yeah, if you've tried it, let me know what you think.